Hi, we're going to talk about another equilibrium constant. Same, same principle that this is just the ratio of products over reactants when we hit this beautiful equal rate, the forward rate equals the reverse rate. What's um, special and very particular about this is that it's going to be an acid reaction. Now, what defines an acid reaction? Why am I going to call this an acid reaction? Anytime you have an acid plus water, let's write that down. When you have acid plus water, we are going to call this an acid reaction. Okay, so there you have it, pretty easy. You just look at what's next to water. If it was a base plus water, it would be a base reaction. So let's go ahead and uh, write the equilibrium expression. Remember, you'll recall products of reactants and the coefficients are going to be the exponents. Um, now, because I have an acid next to water, instead of just writing K, I make this even more specific and I put a lowercase a standing for acid, that this is the equilibrium expression for an acid reaction. Um, so products of reactants, we only use aqueous and gas. We never use liquid or solid. So I've got my conjugate base, that A minus, times the hydronium, that's the H3O plus. Um, and if you need to uh, watch my video on how to label acid base, conjugate acid, conjugate base, um, look under um, equilibrium acid bases playlist. All right, so there's products divided by reactants, which is going to be the acid, because that hydrogen is going to donate, uh, plus water, but water's a liquid, so I leave it. Oh, check it out. Always, this is going to be what an acid reaction looks like. It's always conjugate base times uh, hydronium divided by the acid, always. So let me show you an example of this. Let's say that we are going to have acetic acid, so this is a weak acid, we're going to add this to water, okay? Of course that's liquid, this will be aqueous. It is going to produce the conjugate base, it's going to donate a hydrogen, and what's left over is the conjugate base called acetate ion plus um, that hydronium right there. That's aqueous, this will also be aqueous. So now I want to write the equilibrium expression. Well, this is an acid next to water. So I'm going to put a little subscript A, Ka, equals, and that will be products, it will be the acetate ion times hydronium divided by my reactants, which is going to be the acetic acid. Um, and water's a liquid, so we don't include it. Now let's compare. There's the conjugate base, times hydronium divided by the acid. That's always what it will look like. Um, this will be helpful as we move into um, using ice tables, finding either the Ka equilibrium constant for an acid um, or finding a concentration when we're at equilibrium. Okay, good work. Have a nice day. Thank you.